Um, I wanted to do a little roundup on uh, diapers, chicken diapers. And I know that not all my farm friends have pet chickens like I do, but it has happened on occasion where even chickens that I regularly keep in the coop um, have extended recuperations and have a reason to be in the house for uh, longer than normal. And uh, well, most of the time when I have a chicken recuperating, it's um, resting in a cage and where I'm trying to keep it quiet and um, warm. But there are times um, like with injuries or a recovery from surgery where they've been in the house for a couple of weeks and it just didn't seem like right to keep them in a cage all of that time. So um, in those instances, I think that having a chicken in a diaper is probably a good idea. They can move around a little bit more freely and not get bored and pick on themselves. Um, but anyway, if uh, you are you have a pet chicken or want to have uh, and diapers on hand just in case um, you need one, uh, I thought I'd go over some of my favorite diapers and um, give you some of the pros and cons of each of them. So let's get started. So the first diaper I want to show you is from a company called Hen Saver, and they actually they also make uh, chicken uh, hen saddles. And so this is their design. Um, so you see here, this is the diaper cup, and it has these uh, little Velcro ends right here. This actually wraps around their tail feathers, and then the cup hangs under the vent. And I'll give you. I'll show you how that works out. Uh -huh. Twix here with me right now. Uh, this particular design is one of the easier ones to put on. So if you're just beginning or you've got a bird that has never been in a diaper, this is really easy because you just kind of loop it over their head and you lay this T on their back and then you push the diaper between their legs. And really before where they've realized quite what's happening, they're in the diaper. Um, so after that gets between the legs, then you wrap the ends around. <laughs> and before they get away, she knows what's happening. You put this on there. Now in her case, she escaped from it, so I have to strap these back over her shoulders. This is a little large for her, too. So pop it over her shoulders and you see how it fits where the Y is going between her legs and then this part fits over the shoulders so she can move her wings and she can walk around. Thank you dear. Um, wait, let me bring it down. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. So some advantages to this designer, obviously, that you know you can usually get this over their heads, and um, before they quite realize what's happening, so it's good it, uh, for a beginner. Um, the other uh, nice thing about uh, these are that they make a design that has this uh, uh, waterproof liner inside of it. It's like a it's uh, like the linings that they use for baby diapers. Um, just to keep from leaking through, uh, keep the cloth diapers from leaking through. So it's the same kind of material, and it's a pretty simple design and straightforward. Uh, anything else on that one? I think not. Uh, so that's the hen saver. Now this particular one is a large, and extra, actually this is an extra large, and this one is one that I usually use on my roosters. That's why I didn't quite fit her. I do have a couple of hens that this fits pretty well. Um, one thing when sizing diapers to purchase, uh, you'll see them, let's say, standard size. Standard size is generally for a bantam because most people with pet chickens keep bantams. So my birds are dual purpose or layer breeds, um, so they're a lot larger, and that's why I usually have to purchase uh, large and extra large diapers for them. Uh, now, if you're uh, if you're ordering online from, say, an Etsy seller or something like that, you can talk to them about measurements and um, they can uh, 
usually work with you on that and give you a better idea of how their diapers fit. So the second design I'm going to show you, though, this one was an Etsy seller. And um, it's kind of similar in, in theory to that one, but um, a little different. And actually, this is one of my favorite designs, except the Etsy seller no longer is with them. So in this case, um, this one actually is another one that's really simple to put on because you can drape this over the bird's net head and lay it on their back and then pull the rest of it together and get it on them before they quite got it. So I'm going to grab Kimmy here. <laughs> Kimmy doesn't really like to be handled, um, but she's used to this. So in, in this uh, way, I just lay it down this way. <laughs> goes on this way. And we pull it into where her wings are, push it between her legs, and then these two fasteners back here, they actually loop around the tail feathers. So they fasten together first, and then this Velcro comes through and pulls it together. So you have same kind of theory with the bag hanging directly under the vent. And one of the things I really love about this design is that this has the Velcro that you can adjust, you can pull it in tight up under the vent um, and without having to pull harder and along the hen's body. So I think that that's a really nice feature of the design. This one also had the has the um, waterproof uh, lining, diaper lining. And um, the one thing that I didn't like about this design was that it didn't have the straps covered with anything. I just feel like that's kind of pinchy um, so and, and uncomfortable. But that's another one that's pretty easy to put on for a beginner. Um, now, one of my favorite designs is an Etsy seller. Um, they're called Pamper Your Poultry. And theirs is a little more complicated to get on. You, it's better if you're using it with a bird uh, that is used to being handled. And, um, but nice things about it is first off, they cover the elastic straps in cloth. I think that that's a nice touch. They also have these cute little embellishments with their bows. This is a snap closure on the bow. Um, and then they also put nice little things like the lace attach attachment. Another nice thing about this is the pinafore front because I have had them where they um, were riding up a little bit high on the bird sometimes and in those cases the bird might, bird might poop under the diaper and with this particular design anything that happens there is going to actually fall underneath and so you don't have that that much of a problem. I've had that issue with some of the other cups. Um, but this is why it's really important to get them right on the vent. Um, the disadvantage to this particular style um, is it's really only um, only with my bird. <laughs> So and it's the, their liner that they use is moisture resistant. So um, with uh, Kimmy there, now um, her stools are fairly solid, and so that's really not an issue. Um, but in the case of Twix, who's on a mostly liquid diet, her stools are pretty, are pretty wet. And so sometimes if I'm using these with Twix, I'll pick her up and I'll feel like soggy, ooh. But with most birds, that's not really going to be an issue. The cup, the cup is just going to catch it. Um, and uh, the other uh, little issue that I've had with this design is that sometimes they slip down and the bird poops on the top of it. Um, that's not a big deal, but you want to really make sure that these fit. And I'm going to show you how this one goes on now that I've snapped it in there because it's time for this one to actually go in a diaper and this will be the one that I put her in for the evening. Um, so you can see, whoa, 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 baby, whoa, baby, whoa, baby. So what I have to do is I have to go 
one strap. Whoops. One, one leg through the strap. Just sit down. You can sit down on the table. <laughs> Bird models. <laughs> so, and then you have to strap, then you have to wrap it over the wing and pull her wing out. And that's pretty simple on one side, but then you have to flip it over and do it on the other side. And um, so she's kind of used to this and she knows what I'm doing. Uh, so we're just pulling her leg through and then pulling it over her. And so where's like a little pair of overalls? And then that just snaps. Once you got her like this, you kind of got her. So um, and you make sure it's on the shoulder and it comes out. And then you'll need to just pull the top back up nice and firm right underneath the, the vent. And so that's how the um, Pamper Your Poultry diaper works. And again, they're just beautiful diapers. I just love these so much. Um, and I have a lot of them. And they work real well for birds like Kimmy. Um, but like I said, I, I needed something for Twix that was really going to fit her well. And so, actually, um, I wanted to get something specially made. I looked online. I couldn't find anything with the, um, with the waterproof cups that I really liked anymore. And so, um, I uh, wanted to have something. I had a design in mind, um, and I talked to a friend of mine. And it just happens through, through the um, Ag Alliance, uh, Elbert County Ag Alliance. I know a lot of quilters, and so one of them is uh, Rachel, who um, she actually is the person who makes all of our lavender eye pillows. Um, so a few years ago, when I was, I had a design in mind for the lavender eye pillow because I very specifically wanted it to have kind of a hidden closure um, that you could open it, empty the contents, and wash the eye pillows and refill them with uh, new lavender if you needed to. So, I, but I wanted it to be a hidden closure and I had a design, so I took it to, to Rachel and she really made it possible. She's, she's great. I give her fabrics and I give her patterns <laughs> and, she, and she goes with it. And she also makes our lavender shoulder comforts, which are the ones that you can put in the microwave. And, and, uh, anyway, so, <laughs> so she makes those for me. It's really fabulous. So when um, I was looking to make my own diaper, I went and talked to her. It just happens I can barely sew, and um, she's really good at it. So um, she and I, we worked uh, for a couple of weeks, and um, I gave her kind of an idea of what I wanted and talked to her about just the things I liked and didn't like, and um, we played with some designs, and she came over a couple of times, and we tried them on with the chickens. And so what she came up with was very close to what to the design for uh, the pamper your poultry um, and it has the pinafore in the front and it also has the cloth colored elastic it also it has the um, waterproof liner which is great and um, also she designed it with a fairly large cup which I kind of like because a lot of times the smaller cups can kind of end up folding up as the chickens moving around and um, and they don't catch quite as well. So I really like that. But in the back, instead of like just a single closure in one spot, she uh, came up with this idea to create a Velcro band that simply slips between the two and, and there you go. And it holds the strap at a length. And you can push the strap closer to the tail so that it really holds it close under the vent. And so it's time for Twix to really get in her diaper for the evening. Um, one thing, if you have uh, chickens indoors, um, they really should not wear the same diaper all day um, or even be in a diaper all day. They can get, you know, Rush, just it just being you know it's just like with a baby just having a wet diaper hanging off of you all day isn't isn't cool so and it's not good for them 
So uh, what I do with my girls is they're healthy enough to be outside. So, and I have a private yard for them. So here you see, I'm just, when I got her pulled together, I pull this up. Oops. There we go. There we go. And then I got that in place where I want it. And then I just wrap this on there. Um, so yeah, that would, during the day, if I, if I can, I will let them go out in the private yard together if, it's, if the weather is good enough uh, for them to do that. But on days like today where it's snowing, um, I can't do that. So what happens is, is at some point in the afternoon, I just um, take the girls and I um, take their diapers off and I put them in their cages just for a couple of hours so they can dry out and clean themselves off and do all of that. But you can see this is the diaper that uh, Rachel and I came up with. It has the pinafore front. It has this nice big bag in the back, and they're just adorable and cute. This one's made out of flannel. It's so soft. Um, so, yeah. So, this is kind of the roundup on chicken diapers. Um, so, <laughs> what works for me? Um, really good options here. There's the Hen Saver uh, holster, which is really easy to put on. Um, and then there's also um, Pamper Your uh, Poultry, which are Horrible. And then, of course, you know, if, you, if you're handy with sewing and uh, want to take a stab at doing it yourself, uh, you certainly can. Anyway, thanks for watching and 